Hi Year 5, hope we're all keeping well and keeping safe. Um, I know some of you were back to school last week with Miss Shadipi and it was so nice seeing all your lovely faces back in the classroom once again. Um, we've got quite an exciting week planned for Summer 2 Week 6, so let's have a look at some of the home learning tasks we have planned for this week. For literacy, we'll be looking at balanced arguments. So your main task would be to write a balanced argument on should there be tourism in Antarctica? Look at the example based on Goldilocks to help identify the features and to write your own balanced argument. You should consider both sides. All our resources are in this week's folder. We've also included a spag task on informal and formal language. We would like you to match up informal and formal words with the same meaning. There are two levels for this activity, 2A and 2B. We also have our weekly spellings, so choose 10 words from the Year 5 spelling list and practice writing them in sentences. For science this week, we'll be looking at life cycles. So we've included a link to BBC Bite Size, explaining the different life cycles of various different animals. And what we'd like you to do is to consider how you have changed throughout your lifetime. So ask your parents or your carers or grandparents to describe the key changes in your lifetime. Collect some photos of you at different stages in your life and using these photos, create a timeline of your life describing the changes at each stage. For PE this week, we'd like you to tune into Joe Wicks and complete his daily workout, so just follow the link below. For Spanish, we're going to be looking at Nuestra Casa or Our House. So follow the YouTube link and it will take you to the Rock and Learn Spanish items around the house. We'd like you to draw your house and label different items in the Spanish words you've just learned. For Geography this week, our main focus will be on the Amazon. So we'd like you to investigate the rainforest biome and write down four facts about it. Some questions we'd like you to consider are, how would you survive in the Amazon and what is the rainforest like? Look at the pictures we've included in our resource sheet and which four items would you choose to take with you to the rainforest? Remember, you're only allowed four and we'd like you to give the reasons for each one you've chosen. Also, we would like you to design a shelter that would be suitable for surviving in the Amazon. Don't forget to send in your great creations to the Year 5 email. This week's reading comprehension is about a very important topic. It's about World Ocean Day, as it is vital that we do everything we can to protect our ocean. So all your resources are in this week's folder, so read your comprehension and answer the accompanying questions. For an additional task, continue reading JK Rowling's new chapter book online. In maths this week, we'll be looking at adding and subtracting decimals. So for your starter activity, you have your top marks link there, where you're going to select level 5, multiplication, and we'll be looking at mixed tables up to times 12. Then for our main focus, we'll be looking at adding and subtracting whole numbers and decimals. We've included four documents to work through in the folder, the first one being the PowerPoint, then the varied fluency, then the reasoning and problem solving, and finally your addition and subtraction sheet. If you have any issues or troubles with any of that math, don't forget to pop us an email and one of us in the Year 5 group will get back to you. In music this week, we'll be looking at exploring emotions. Music is highly emotive. It can make us happy, sad or relaxed. So what we'd like you to do is click on the link below, which will take you to the National Academy classroom and complete the lesson in exploring emotions in music. For art, what we'd like you to do is draw what you see from your window at home. So think about using the window frame as a picture frame to your view. You could draw the view at different times of the day or looking in different directions. What mood do you want to create? Your shadows and your highlights will represent this mood. Don't forget to send in your amazing creations to the Year 5 email. And finally, for mindfulness and PSHE, we have our weekly yoga session linked below. So follow the YouTube link and don't forget to send us any of your yoga poses. We also have a question for you to consider about media balance. So every day we make choices about the media we consume and create, but do we actually understand what makes the media choices we have healthy or not? 
So we'd like you to consider the question, what is media balance? Think about what does media balance mean for you? Watch the video to explain more. Thank <laughs> you.